All right, mate, welcome to Davis Tea Time. This week, we're going to be answering the question of what string gauge should you be choosing? It seems on the internet at the moment that string gauges have become a bit of a hot topic. There seems to be lots of people asking the question, what string gauge should they be using for a specific tuning they have? Now, why is this an important question? It's an important question to ask because string gauge makes a big difference to the tension of your strings. The tension of the string makes a difference to how it sounds, how it feels, and there are three factors which can change the string tension, which are these here, as you can see on what I call the tension triangle. So the three things you have there are your tuning, your scale length, and your string gauge. If you increase any one of these, the tension increases, and if you decrease any one of these, the tension decreases. So if you're wanting to reduce one and retain the same string tension, you need to increase one of the others to compensate for that. For example, if you have a, a guitar and you are tuning to, let's say, drop C, and you'll have a 25 and a half inch scale length, your tension will drop unless you increase the gauge of your strings. That's why you'll find people who prefer to tune low but to not go extreme on their string gauges will often opt for baritone guitars or multi-scale guitars, like I've mentioned previously on my fan fret FAQ video. Also, a lot of seven string guitars have a longer scale length which means you can get away with thinner strings while still retaining the same tension. So the question is how do you go about finding the string gauge which is correct for you? Well there's a number of ways you can do this and the easiest way is to use a tool that Daddario have created. Let me show you. So I'm going to now talk about a tool provided by Daddario uh, I just wanted to stress that I'm not sponsored by Daddario, I'm not endorsed by them, I have no affiliation with them at all. just want to talk to you about a really good tool that they offer for free, uh, which makes life a lot easier when you're trying to calculate what string gauge you want for what scale length and tuning, etc, etc. So the way that we'll do this to begin with, we'll look at something that I know personally works for me, which is 25 and a half inch scale length guitar in E standard, with tens, um, but that may be different for you. It might be that that's nines. It might be that that's eights. It might be whatever. So, what I would what I would suggest is basically follow these steps to get the standard that you want to basically set everything else by. So we need to find out first what is a comfortable tension, and then apply that tension to the tuning and scale length that you're going to be using to find out a comfortable tension. I hope that makes sense. So we're going to base this off of a specific set of Daddario strings, which I've already mentioned. So in my case, we're looking at the e EXL110 set, which is 10 to 46. And we're going to put that on 25 and, in 25 and a half inch scale length. We're going to put that in E standard tuning. and we want to see what the tension looks like on that. So this, we're looking at 16, 15, 17, 18, 19, 17. Uh, so that is basically the tension that I feel is super comfortable for playing. Uh, and now what we want to do is apply that tension to our tuning and our scale length, and that will give us the correct gauge that we want. To achieve that. So if we start again, we click the Daddario logo up here, and we are not this time going to, no, we're not going to, and we have an electric guitar, in this particular case six string, and I'm basically going to get it to tell me what's the best strings to put on um, drop A, 25 and a half inch. So yes, we do want to change the tuning. Is drop A here. There it is, drop A. A, E, A, D, F sharp, B. Yes, that's what we want. 
normal strings and what we'll do is we'll change this over to tension and what I should have done was write down the numbers that we would come up with earlier but I'm just going to give a rough number uh, so it was something like 16 17 17 18 19 and I believe that was 17 something like that and then we can get results and there we have it this is the string set it recommends 13, 18, 22, 34, 49, 70 uh, and that's, that 70 will definitely give you a very nice tight bottom string uh, which is exactly what I like when I'm playing. I don't want I don't want my strings to be flopping around. So lastly, let's talk about my personal recommendations on string gauges. So if you are using a standard uh, 25 and a half inch or 25 and three quarter inch scale length, 25 and a half inch scale length is probably the most common scale length and is found on most Fender guitars and also a lot of Fender style guitars um, like Super Strats for example 24 and 3 quarter is a Gibson scale length and is more common on Gibson style shapes like your, your Les Paul single cut type shapes Explorers, V's, those kind of things they tend to be 24 and 3 quarters and that makes a difference even that small change of scale length um, but generally uh, what I want to talk about here in terms of um, string gauges are kind of interchangeable between the two. So I would say, personally, you want a you want a set of tens for E standard. You want a set of elevens if you're playing in drop D. If you're playing in drop C, I would recommend twelves. If you're going into drop B, I would talk thirteens. If you're going into drop A, I would talk fourteens. And if you're going beyond the drop A, then you really want a longer scale length because the string is going to get ridiculous. And as they get thicker, it becomes harder to correctly intonate them as well. Part of the reason why I'd recommend these string gauges is because I like a really good thick string and I like a, a good amount of tension. And that's because I have a, a very heavy right hand and I really dig into the strings. And if you're really digging into the strings, A, it sounds better, as I said in my previous video, but also if you've got thinner strings, it'll, you'll actually be hitting them out of tune. With each pick, you'll be hitting them out of tune. So you want thicker uh, strings to be able to compensate for that. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found it to be useful. If so, give us a thumbs up. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, then there's the nice little subscribe button down here as well, which is asking to be clicked if you haven't done so already. Uh, and we'll see you next week. La -la 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 -la.